A hole is being torn in the fabric of space and time. It's not science fiction, but research currently underway at Harriet Watt University in Edinburgh. Another team there is working with digital information that can mean two things at once, apparently. Now, the projects have been awarded nearly two and a half million pounds in new funding. Our science correspondent, Kenneth MacDonald, has this report, which, we must warn you, contains some flashing images. In this laboratory on the outskirts of Edinburgh, they're creating a tear in space and time. The big idea? To mimic a black hole. Black holes normally uh, live at the centre of a galaxy, but what we're trying to do is reproduce these conditions in our lab so that we can control and tune the conditions and try to make these black holes do something useful for us. Each pulse of this laser is more powerful than 10,000 nuclear power stations. The results look like this. They will expand our knowledge of the universe. They will not destroy Scotland in the process. Gravitational black holes are generated by a collapsing star. We don't actually have this collapsing star, so there's no danger of actually being sucked in or pulled into the, to the black holes we're generating. Yeah. The other half of the European Research Council's money is going into work which aims to make quantum physics as much a part of our everyday lives as computers are today. Everything in our digital world runs on bits, and a bit can only be one of two things, one or zero. But a quantum bit, a qubit, can be two things at once, and that opens up a whole new world of possibilities. For that to happen, it'll mean turning theory into mass-produced reality. What I'm doing right now is just aligning a laser beam into our semiconductor sample. So it has a very tiny region of semiconductor, that ha acts sort of like an artificial atom. They're manipulating one photon and one electron at a time inside a semiconductor. If it can be scaled up to the production line, the spin-offs will be huge. Secure communication is possible if you use quantum information rather than classical information. Uh, the processing of information is, can be exponentially faster for certain types of procedures, for instance, searching a database can be exponentially faster if you use quantum mechanics. Um, or you can do metrology, so you can measure things at very tiny distances or even, for instance, the phase of light or things like this. So, so, and these are actually becoming real-world applications now. The funding will run for five years. In the meantime, this is what the future looks like. Kenneth MacDonald, Reporting Scotland, Edinburgh. You understand all that, don't you, Dave? I think my head's about <laughs> to explode, Sally. There might be some uh, debris flying around.